Hi there, my name is Taylor, and today I want, uh, I'm excited to start something that I wanted to do for a while, which is a playthrough of Toki Memorial Girls Side second season. Um, so the Toki Mechie Memorial Games, for those who aren't aware, um, is, a, is, a, is a dating sim that's been around for a couple of decades already. Um, it started off as a game that was designed for kind of male players. You played a boy at a high school, and then you, the goal was to date girls. Um, and then, I think this came out in the 90s, um, and then in the kind of the early mid-aughts, they released uh, a series of Ultime games uh, designed for girls called The Girl Side. Um, I think there were something like three or four games in the series before they stopped making them. Um, but uh, the second game in particular is very uh, dear to my heart because it's one that I played when I was in high school. Um, so it's a very silly game. Um, so the, the goal for Tokimeki Memorial is that you play a high school student through all three years of high school. You need to balance uh, your club activities with your school studies, your social life, shopping, part-time jobs. Um, and the goal is to uh, meet a boy <laughs> and have you know develop that relationship um, have him confess to you at the very last day like the very last day of the game at high school graduation and then also set up kind of the future that you want um, for your post school life so uh, there's a lot of different ways that you can play this game um, there are friend endings there are various types of romantic endings and um, yeah so um, I played this game for the first time when I was in high school. I had a DS um, that I, when I discovered it was region unlocked. I don't even know how I found out about this game. I think I was just googling like Otome games and back then there really weren't that many. So I had one sent imported to the states from Japan. I played it. I'm pretty sure like I pretended to be sick that first day so I wouldn't have to go to school. <laughs> um, I have played this game so much. There are a variety of different endings that you can get for each character. I think there's something like six, like main, like kind of standard bachelors, and then there are a couple of hidden ones. I ha yeah, so I I have played this game so many times. I think I've gotten at least one ending for each of the characters, um, and you can also get multiple endings depending on. Um, like if they were your first kiss or not, which is something that happens kind of at the beginning of the game. I am obsessed with this game. The first time I played it, um, actually I ended up getting like a best friend ending and then um, and I tried playing it again and I got like the bad ending. So there's a bunch of different varieties. One of the things I like about it too is so depending on like what you focus on when you're in school and how your stats are and your, um, what do you call it? Your, your like club activities and those sort of things, um, you can have a variety of different endings with your own character about what they do after high school, um, which is just a little bit of flavor text. Doesn't you don't really like see it, um, and they kind of only tell you what like the next year of your life is going to be like. Um, but there's a whole bunch of different things that you can get depending on what kind of school you go to. If you decide you know you want to become a musician, you can totally focus on like the music club. Um, if you want, you can like get your job at the gas station and then work at the gas station full time after graduating on your grades you can apply to a variety of different like levels of schools um, so it's a lot like a high school life simulator plus a dating sim um, for most of the day-to-day -day, like gameplay though it's a lot like kind of like a persona game without the combat um, so if you like persona and you didn't like the combat part got good news for you so um, we're going to be playing the second season. I also have the third one that I think I might play in the future, but for now I want to just do the second season. So my goal for this game um, is I'm going to do like wish fulfillment for the kind of game that I would have put myself into when I was playing as a high schooler. So I want to get um, the romantic ending with Hadia because he was my favorite when I was playing this game for the first time. Um, and then I also want to get the idle ending. I don't really remember how you're supposed to get the idle ending, so I might take a second to actually go look that up. But yeah, that's that's gonna be the goal for this game, is that at the end of this high school experience, 
Hadea will be my boyfriend, and I will have joined an idol group. <laughs> Probably not the best arrangement, because I then would have to break up with him when I joined the idol group, and also, like, I'd be moving to Tokyo, and he wouldn't, so I don't think that bodes very well for our future, but it doesn't matter. It's more about the confession at the end and having the self-satisfaction of knowing that after three years, he still wanted to give it a go, uh, even though, you know, you're splitting off down your different, different paths. I feel like high school graduation is, like, the worst time to start dating somebody. Like, start off in first year, and then you can have the whole year, but, like, why would you, gr like, start dating the second you graduate college or high school and going off to different colleges? It doesn't make sense. But whatever, it's not about the long-term goal of the relationship. We're talking about high schoolers. All right. Okay, so I've done some research. Okay, so I wasn't gonna look this up, but I figured out I should probably know what kind of stats I should be going for instead of just trying to wing it. Um, so to become an idol, this guide I have is saying entertainment. I think that's probably what that means. Um, just my charm needs to be above 135. So I think as long as my thing is like 135, I should be able to get to it. Um, so I also want to get my second choice, if I don't get idol, is maybe join the concert symphony and become club master of band, which it's kind of wild that you can just join the symphony right out of high school. Like, you have three years of playing the trumpet, good to go, welcome in. It's pretty It's pretty comforting to know that you don't really need to have, like, a, a degree to play Brahms for a living. For Hadia, just gonna tell me what the stats are. No, this is just all this data. Okay. For the ending requirements, I need to have style over 200 and charming over 150. Um, with either 15 or 25 dates depending on which kind of kiss we get because um, there's a kiss um, all right so I think that's that should be pretty easy because as long as my charm is over this thing and I don't apply to college I think I should be able to get this this ending that I want but yeah high style high charm So my, my goal for this playthrough is not to be smart, but to be cute. Okay, so I'm excited about this one. So I was playing the third one, which is a PSP ROM, and you need to use the keyboard, and I'm not good at using keyboards, but since this is DS, I can just click. Oh, there's like kind of no good place to put my face, huh? <laughs> put my face right here in the middle. Um, because there's literally no better place to put it without blocking off. Okay, so my memory of one of the cool things about this game is that, like, I think this was the first game where they would call you by your name. So... My go-to for this game is always Tomita Yurina, because I like the name Tomita, and then I like the name Yurina. <laughs> oh no! I... This is impossible to read. How did they ever... You know what? It's fine. We're not playing this in Japanese. I'm just gonna do it in Ghana. So actually when I used to play this game for the, uh, when I used to play it, I always named my character Ko, like, uh, because you could write it with the kanji for, um, light, hikari, and so it was really easy to find. And also I discovered that it was actually, they were less likely to mess it up in terms of pronouncing it. So actually maybe for old time's sakes, I, I will call her Ko. Um, the real question is, is how do I find... So there's like a whole science to 
to finding kanji in like dictionaries and stuff that I literally never learned. Japanese is rusty. Okay, well then we're just gonna call Yuko the old-fashioned way. Okay, so I am gonna pick July because that is my real birthday. Um, and so then my blood type is A because that is also real. Okay, so I have to pick a room, and so this is we'll pick kind of the the starting stats. Um, wow, it's really kind of hard to look at. Oh, I didn't mean to click that one, but I guess I'm there now. Okay, so now we're gonna pick the pronunciation that the characters are gonna say. Oh yes, this is one of the things is like, then you have to pick kind of what, how they're going to say it because even then they can't really say it. It's kind of broken. I was playing the third the third game and they definitely improved um, the AI with pronouncing it. Because I, I used to always name my character like, I, I would like the, uh, the name Kokoro um, and so I would always try to name my character Kokoro and then they would like, the, the, the three options wouldn't just let me say Kokoro. <laughs> So that's why I think I ended up doing ko because then it's just ko. Yes. Jimmy wa okay. Okay des. Doushite naiteru no? Ne. Kimi wa ninja na no? No, I have legs. So the thing about Tokimeki Memorial is that there's always one person. I think this is kind of the case with old dating sims and like otome games and stuff. There's always one bachelor bachelorette who... Oh, this gap in the middle is not good. I think... Well, no, you live here now. My face. Um, so there's, there's always one character who's kind of like the main character, and so I guess so if you go and you romance them and you get a little more oomph with the plot... But... So this is kind of setting this up, so if you end up like dating somebody else, like none of this means anything. Why does this child have bleached blonde hair? I don't like this thing. Okay, so if you want to know why I have this giant bar down the middle, it's because like trying to fit it in the like OBS window was kind of a pain, and with the emulator, because it is a DS, so it's supposed to have the two screens. Also, I have totally forgotten that, yeah, you're meant to hold your DS like you're holding a notebook. That's why it's vertical. That's weird. So if you have this together, it kind of creates one cohesive picture. But instead, because we don't have that, it just makes his shoulder look really long. <laughs> I have to wait for him to throw out the trash? Am I the trash? Are you taking me out? How did how did you get that takeaway from that interaction? Is my question. Hanegasaki Academy. Yeah. I'm not sure how I feel about the translator's choice to translate ge as ak. Probably 
Mika. Would be better. No, I don't want to. Oh my, which one? Which one? <laughs> not even trying. Oh, I shouldn't have done it, Kana. I should have done it in, in real English letters. Well, okay, just remember that my character's name is Tomita Ko. It doesn't matter. What name I didn't think that one through. I don't know why I thought that it would get romanized. I'm just not very smart. Like I said, we're going for cute and stylish, not smart. I keep clicking in the white part. Ooh, what's that down there? I keep I keep clipping in the white part. And it doesn't do anything. So this is this is the character where I got her best friend editing the first time I ever played it. Because uh, I'm a sucker for femmes. Oh, I hate that I did this. I hate, I hate that I gave her Kana names instead of just writing it in English. In an English translation of the game. I wasn't paying attention. I'm so sorry. <laughs> so that's called a meet cute, and if this were a different kind of game, we'd be there. So I have to say, I really hate that teacher student romances are a thing in a lot of Japanese media, and this is one of them. You can date this dude. I really hate it, but on like the other hand, I'm just like, if I did have a type, it would be that one. <laughs> like, as an adult, I'd like to date him. I would like to romance him as an adult, not as a 15-year-old. 16-year-old? 15. So this, this game is very shoujo manga, and I just have to say, as you see right behind me, I have a lot of shoujo manga. Um, there are a lot of things about this game that I like, that's like this very, like, cute aesthetic, but there are also a lot of tropes that I'm not a fan of. And this is one of them. Just the nonchalance about teacher-student romances. Like, I get he doesn't confess to you until the last day of school, but it's still kind of gross. Like, give it some time, dude. <laughs> Okay, so here we get the self-introduction sheet, which is going to determine who we have our accidental first kiss with. So, I know there is a way to get it with um, Hadia, and that would make it easier, but I'm going to answer this truthfully to myself. <laughs> okay, why did you think to enroll in this academy? Um, because it's famous for academics. I like the uniform, so I enrolled because it's famous for sports. So I would like to say that's because it's academics, because I am kind of bookish and I have a master's degree. Um, but I think at the time, I definitely would have gone to a school just because the uniform was cute. What are your hobbies? Art appreciation, shopping, reading. Um, now it's definitely reading. Reading manga <laughs> was definitely what I was into at the time. It suddenly got really dark in my apartment. Um... reading. I liked art and I liked music, but I definitely like spent most of my time as reading books. Um, what do you want to try after becoming a high schooler? 
working uh, youth via club activities. Love, of course. What type of guy do you like? <laughs> Why is this a question? Uh, a little inappropriate, my man. Kind, cool, a little pretentious. Um, definitely kind. And also, um, a dependable person would be nice. Obviously a cool person, an interesting person. So I think the, the interesting in this case is not necessarily interesting. It's kind of like funny, which is again what I picked. I know who I'm going to get. I know who I'm going to get because it's who I got the first time I ever played this game. And I was like, pardon, this character exists. <sighs> I hate this child. I'm going to eat this child into the sun. Like personalized stationery. Because I am bad with names. Okay, so well, the room that we picked actually gave us a kind of a head start with style and charm, which is nice. Um, we are sure dumb, though. We are so dumb. I think it, it would be good to do some studying, just so we're not, like, totally humiliated. Um, but I'm actually curious, because how do you meet him? So in order to meet... Hadia, you have to have your style over 55. So actually, we're pretty good. We should be able to meet him whenever. Um, a new mail. So there's a cafe. Um, so we can work at the seaside cafe with what's-his-face. But I don't want to. I'm not going to apply. Any way to change my name? No. There's not. <laughs> well, let's save first. Oh no. Okay, so my day off. I do have some monies. So I think I'm gonna go shopping so I can get some clothes for when it becomes appropriate to have clothes. Yes, I must say so my memory is that Hadia likes kind of cool, sexy clothes, which not entirely appropriate for maybe a first year high schooler to wear. I don't think it was a, like, probably the best lesson to be teaching our, our daughters and children to dress the, so boys like them. But you know what? I want to win. So I think one of the things is that the girls can be your rivals. And so you kind of want to spend time with them because if they get mad at you, then they like you have a rivalry and it can like end up impacting the rest of your relationships. Um, same thing with the other guys, is if you don't spend time with them occasionally, they get really mad and resent you. Um, which makes it really hard to just kind of like laser and focus. Um, so I was talking about clubs. I do want to join the symphony. The brass band. So that could be my fallback. Um, no, because if I do that too determined, if I, if I just do the, the thing, then that's gonna, that's gonna redo the idol thing. Um... Well, you know, I could change my mind in the future. I think I'm going to do Brass Band just to help maybe raise some stats. Um, I know my art skill doesn't really matter much. Ugh. I'm just going to be like that every time they say my name. As I'm just going to be like, oh, why did I do that? <laughs> oh, well, no wonder I got Mizushima's ending. Like... <laughs> Wait, how are you my senpai in this club if we're in the same year? Is it because you've literally only been in there for two weeks longer than I have? That doesn't make sense. Again, like, I don't necessarily mind. Like, spending some time studying because it is kind of satisfying when you get, like, a good score on your final exams and everyone's like, wow, you're so smart. Um... Enough with this dude. Done this game. Like, I got really good at kind of figuring out, like, how to balance your stats. 
Okay, so here we are with the accidental kiss scene, and yep, I got the guy I got the first time I ever played this game, and I was like, excuse me, sir. <laughs> oh, I, I just <laughs> touched his mouth, and instead I got him right in the uvula. So this is a trope that I don't know why they love so much in Japanese media, is having the foreigner who learned Osaka-ben, like Osaka dialect, when they learn Japanese. So like he doesn't have like a really thick accent, but he speaks in Osaka-ben, which is... I think it's supposed to be funny. So first off, I resent this because we look the same. We have the same hair. We don't all look like that. I want to know why this child is always at my house. Like, does he does does he not have friends? I mean, that is how you get the bad ending, is that you end up with him. Like, not necessarily you end up with him, but like you go to the lighthouse to wait for someone to come confess to you, or like say that they want to be your best friend forever, and he's just there like, yeah, sorry to say, nobody likes you. So I guess, yeah, he has no friends, and then if you have no friends, then he's your only friend, just like how you're his only friend. This is Hadia. This is gonna be um point. Wait, did I just walk up and touch his hand? Why did they that prompt a skinship? So what does this say about me that he was my favorite when I was in high school? What does that say about me personally? If <laughs> I were gonna get used to the name, no. No. Oh, that's right. I'm remembering now, because I was gonna make a character Ko, and then you can call him Kokun. And then we had the same name, that's so gross. Hari. 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 Not understanding her hair. Because it looks like it's just combed back, but there's a ponytail off to the side, so shouldn't there be like something? She's got Takayaki on her on her stationery. Thinking about it, I probably should have applied for the cafe job and then switched once the other thing became available. That's probably...
because I don't know when the music store is going to open up and I really need riches. I didn't even interview and they're just like, come on in, child. That seems suspicious. It's like, this is a really popular hop in place. So why don't older girls at school know about this? You can't. Sir. Can't wait to quit this job. No, I'm not. I don't want to touch him. Ah. I did forget about the skinship thing in this game, where you have to touch them. This is like when Fire Emblem Fates came out. A lot of people were like, "Eh, skinship," and then they got rid of it for the American like English release. But I was like. You obviously have not played a Tokimeki Memorial game, especially Girl's Side 2, because I am <laughs> I am used to this. I have uh, touched many a video game character with a stylus. Have to hurry, I'm late for school. Wow, that's a lot. So there is a character in the third game who is also related to this family, so like... I don't, I don't like what's happening up here. Daisy! Are you hitting on me, ma'am? So for the art that Alex drew of all of us, she drew me as sort of like, kind of like, a little bit like knife cat meets, like, you know the one where like they have the knife out and the cat's like, mm. and then also a little bit of like an Ojo Sama character just like, oh, ho, 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 ho. and that's who this is, and, okay, we have not been preparing for this at all, so today is not going to go great. So the mini games in this game are really hard. So normally I would not participate because I don't want to lose points, but that's not sportsmanship like. So I will. Okay, I'm trying to remember what was the easiest. I think the easiest was the three-legged race because it's just patterns as opposed. I do like eating bread though, but that one I think it was kind of hard because it was like the timing. No, let's do bread eating. Okay, this will be interesting. Okay, so you go forward, go forward, and then you jump, and then you hit the jump button again to stop. Successfully, <laughs> this image is quite a lot. Okay, let's do this. <laughs> I didn't even make it to the bread. <laughs> Sorry. What should I do with the red bean bud I got in the race? Eat it. Oh, they can give it as a present. Okay, that's nice. No. <laughs> you didn't like it. 
Oh, it's the Tetris theme song. Oh, Hadia doesn't like me, so he doesn't want to dance with me. That's fine. That's fine! I didn't want to dance with him either. The difference in between the saying my name and the Ko. Osu! <laughs> oh, I forgot to study. Oh! Language was not bad. Math, not good. Elective? A good elective? So I don't know what elective that is. Arts was good. Fifth day's exam. Okay, 125. It's not the worst. Definitely better than these two dummies. Uh. <laughs> it's my birthday, I didn't get any presents. my old job and um, quit my old one. I like that it doesn't warn you that you're going to be quitting this job. <laughs> Look, I just needed money. It's way too easy to find jobs in this town. Like, she didn't even submit an application, she just called and was like, hey, can I work there? And he was like, yeah, sure, come on in. Let's check with the neighbor, I want to see how we're doing. Psyche is kind of on the fence. Hadia likes me more than that. Wakoji. So the ladies like me the most. <laughs> By a lot. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Yay. So my memory is like in this first year, it's really hard for you to like find one-on-one -on -one time with the person you want to date. Um, and then no. once you start to know each other really well, then you literally cannot get them to leave me alone. <laughs> they're like calling every week being like, want to go on a date? And every time you're at school, they're like, let's walk home together. And you're like, I have other things to do and spend time with you. I love him, he's so dumb. God, my forearms hurt. So it's a pun because his name means young prince. But also it's ironic because he's the oldest one in this game. So for grandpa. 
はは。ノリノリでーす。若様先生。So like, American schools don't have school festivals. I know that this is like very much a media depiction, but I know people who had real school festivals and it always seemed like a blast. Like they would still go every year after they graduated because it was so much fun. So, like, we don't really do it. Like, I mean, I guess you have, like, you know, homecoming floats and fun creative things like that, but it's not quite the same as, like, the whole school. I hate this child. Where's his parents? It was good. Okay, so the, we finished the school festival, so I feel like this is a good place to stop. Um, we're not quite to the end of the year. We still have about like five months. There's still got finals, we got Christmas, we got New Year's, um, Valentine's Day, finals again, White Day. Like, we have a lot of stuff going on. Um, before the end of the first year. So I was gonna do like probably the whole year, but then I think this is probably a good place to stop. Um, so I will catch you guys next time. Thanks for watching. I know this one wasn't super exciting because we're still just kind of building up our stats and meeting people, um, but eventually it'll reach a point where we cannot like keep Hadia away from us. I just need to get to that point first. Um, I know it feels like it's like we're losing Ty, like we haven't really been seeing him very much, but we are just the first year. We have two whole more years to go through um and then we also have the valentine's day mini game which is so hard i'm not good at it and that was with like a stylus on a ds let alone like a mouse on a computer well thank you for watching i will catch you guys next time um for some more of uh high school <laughs> all right thank you